from my cozy home I am just doing a little quick review on the beautiful keep cup why why not because again the keep cup it is a coffee cup it is tempered glass and as you can see it's holding a brew in there and I want to see how it changes my uh, camera viewing and once I finish this because I haven't been drinking coffee for a while so it's a little experiment as well. I'm gonna fast forward this this whole drinking stuff a bit, but you know, it's just does taste good, doesn't it? But to quickly go into it, it uh, this one is the cork version. With my old one, I used to take it off every time I would wash it. Which no no, don't do that because it actually breaks quicker. Uh, this one I've left on, and it's over a year old now, and it's looking pretty good and I use this every day wash it every day use it every day wash it every day use it every day now <laughs> I have the lid here and the nice thing about this lid is you can actually hear when it when it pops on the mouthpiece is also like there's a bit of resistance there but it doesn't clip it doesn't click um, now however this cup is not a like I wouldn't turn it around right now, especially not because my computer's right down there. And you can't just throw that in your backpack, it is gonna make a mess. It's spill proof. And yeah, you have this little nice little thingy that you can undo and clean, you know. Um, this is made from P L LDP number four plastic. Uh, it's the only part that is made from plastic, is the lid. And uh, well, I guess there is no better solution at this stage. It has just a normal drinking hole, that's enough air in so you can drink, no problem. Mm. And it's just mean, put the rest of your indicating finger here. Uh, it does, it's not too hot, it's pretty thick glass. Um, but mind you, I put cold milk in there, so it cooled down a little bit. Uh, however, it's pretty, I, I'm okay holding it. Maybe if you have very sensitive hands, you'd be better off holding it like here. But this thing is perfect, like it never gets hot here, anyway. Uh, so yeah, continue drinking. Now the Keep Camp comes in five different styles. There is the brew cork, which is this one. There's the brew that's glass and it's just a silicon ring around there. There is the original which is made of plastic. There is, uh, this This one is the size uh, 340 milliliters, that's the medium. And there's a smaller version, that's 220. And there is the larger version, which is 454 milliliters, or 16 ounce, 12 ounce, and eight, I think. Eight ounce, 227 milliliters to be precise. On their website, you can go and design your own coffee cup. So this is the almond one, which is a brown and a beige lid. And so these parts can all be ordered in different colors. And you can just simply swoop and swap and design your own. Really cool. Uh, with the cork version, you obviously only get the cork ring. Um, but if you go for the silicon ring, again, it comes in all 19 colors. Ah, so like I said, now I drink this whole cup and I think it's a really beautiful cup and, and that's why I'm promoting it because uh, I'm not affiliated to this company in any way. I just really like those cups. I have uh, seen different cups. I wouldn't recommend the plastic version of it because even though it has it is BPA free. They still need to put BPS in there to make it somewhat flexible. Uh, it's also a chemical. It's also linked to uh, estrogenic problems. Estrogenic problems? It's not good for you. I wouldn't personally go for the original version of this because it has the, the plastic. And this is made from number five, polypropylene. I just 
personally, it's 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 a personal choice. I really, since I've did my research on plastic and how it leaches chemicals into your food, I try and avoid as much contact of plastic with food because it's just not good for you. No matter how you twist it and turn it, it's not good for you. So if you can avoid it, get the glass version. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's it's worth it. And it's really strong tempered glass, so get it. So the lid is um, LDPE4, it's number four. And uh, it's uh, supposed to be BPA and BPS free, which I guess is a good thing because you know, we, we, we always read the BPA free thing and we're like, oh sweet, it's safe. But uh, unfortunately, instead of BPA, they often put BPS in there, which is also a softener for the plastic and leaches chemicals into your drink as well. So having said this is BPA and BPS free, it's safe, so to say. And that's it from the Zero Waste Man. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Until next time, happy coffee drinking.